kind of like you go in thinking, oh my god, my life is all better now. Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I am all things God, self-love, and spirituality. And I like to start every video with an affirmation, so let's get into it. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. I allow myself to shine no matter what. I allow myself to shine no matter what. I allow myself to shine no matter what. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. What is up, everybody? So today I want to talk to you guys about my first therapy session. Um, when I was grieving my grandmother's passing, when I was going through really deep depression all of 2019, I... Uh, knew that something was wrong because I was doing all the things that I love to do that really brought me joy like making videos and going shopping and making food and posting about it and I wasn't finding joy in them anymore I wasn't feeling happy in those things anymore I wasn't feeling anything but a deep deep sense of sorrow and I knew something was wrong I knew something was wrong um, I was also breaking out in hives. I was breaking out in hives every time I would have a uh, very like high emotional experience, whether that's me and my mom getting into an argument, whether that's me thinking about my grandma, whether that's me thinking about what am I doing with my life, uh, I would break out in hives. And that was my body attacking itself because it was under so much emotional stress. So I said, okay. Let me go get a therapist. I'm always telling people, go to therapy, go to therapy, go to therapy, but I needed to practice what I preached in that moment and I needed to go to therapy. So I went to therapy for black girls. I found one in my area and the first session was underwhelming and confusing because I think we have this idea and Fatima does a really good job of talking about it on her podcast. Um, go, go ahead and check that out, Soul Beauty Chat. and. You know, it's kind of like you go in thinking, oh my God, my life is all better now. Thank you, therapist. Thank you. And it's like, well, actually, no. When I left, I called my best friend and I was very underwhelmed with the experience. And I look back and now I know I was just processing because she was saying so many things. And I was like, oh, but you're right. <laughs> and I was just... I was just processing what she was saying and so let all expectations be left at the dough, okay? Because everyone's experience is different and I'm lucky that I really liked my therapist the first try. They kind of always say like finding a therapist is like dating, like you got to find the one that's right for you. I have friends that have switched to two, three therapists. I like my therapist, like she's cool, um, she's really chill, she's like vibey, kind of like me, so I really, really like that. Now a lot of Christians, me myself, I am a follower of Christ and I am a free thinking Christian. So for me, therapy is not something that is against God, it's not against Jesus, it's not taboo to me at all. Everyone needs that extra help and God created psychologists and psychotherapists and God made a way for those people to be able to help us. So I, so that for that argument right there, like I just don't agree when a lot of Christians say, all you need is the Bible, all you need is the Bible. And it's like, sis, yes, thank you. <laughs> I love me, Psalms 91, thanks. But I also need someone to talk to. Okay, and yes, the Holy Spirit is here for me, but I can have both, okay? Like, I can have both. Being a black Christian is not monolithic. I can have both therapy and Jesus, and both of them can help me at the same time. And, I'll, and, and the great thing about therapy is that they are someone who have no idea who you are, so they have no preconceived notions about who you are, so they're able to give you sound, clear advice that they have done the educational work they have done they've gone to school for this they know things that you do not know okay they have a degree honey they know what they're doing they are studying the human mind it doesn't matter if you're christian or atheist or muslim or cultural beliefs it doesn't matter the brain is the brain is the brain the mind is the mind is the mind and these people have studied for majority of their lives to be able to help others unravel the 
the mysteries of the human brain, human mind. So, and I actually did not have good insurance. I had insurance where I had a, I had a very high deductible. And my deductible was so high that like, even if I, I basically was paying for therapy out of pocket. Okay, and it was about $190, $190 I think. And um, I was working at the time and it hurt every time they swiped my card, okay? It hurt every time. It never got better. No matter what amazing, like, um, no matter how amazing the session was, it hurt every time. <laughs> but I always tweet and I always say, pay the bill, pay it. There is a way. And I know a lot of people wanna try to find like the inexpensive ways to get therapy, which is fine. But to me, nothing is better than just going in person, being in their space, letting them really talk to you. But whatever floats your boat, maybe you're not comfortable talking to people and you would prefer, you know, um, what's it called, talk space, I think. Like you would prefer just texting somebody, texting a therapist, like, you know, your issues and whatever you got going on. But however much it is, pay for it pay for therapy because it's an investment the 190 the 200 the 170 or however much therapy might be think about it you are going to first of all that's not the last 190 dollars you're ever going to have for the rest of your life right and if your bills are all paid like and if and i if you're trying to save understand that like the investment in your mental health will supersede anything that you're saving up for, any anything that you feel like you need to have right now. No, sis, you need to have high mental health. You need to have a better like understanding of yourself and your life in order for you to, shoot, make more money, better. I have been to my therapist maybe three or four times and literally each time, I'm just like, there was one day I went to her, I was having like an emotional breakthrough and I didn't understand why I was crying, what feelings I was having. I could not name the feeling I was having because I have been so far removed from my feelings. Went to therapy, I broke it down to her. She was like, girl, you were just having feelings of empathy. And I was like, oh, this was good. It was a good cry. And we talked about it and she brought some Christianity to the table and it just like really, really like gives you a new way to see why things happen, the way that things happen, and how to move forward. So for me, therapy has been amazing. I need to go back. I can't wait to book my next session. But if you are hesitant about getting therapy, maybe because you're Christian, maybe because you think it's taboo, maybe because you think it's expensive, all of those things are not more important than your mental health, okay? because you can keep pretending like you're okay you can keep like smiling on instagram and pretending that you're okay but like we see you and we see that you're not okay and we see that you do need the deeper help and the assistance they're there for you if you have to borrow money if you have to use your credit card that's me right there if you have to use your credit card if you have to get out of your own way get out of your cultural religious beliefs because you deserve to be on this earth healed and whole not pretending to be healed and whole but to be really fucking healed and whole so that's it mic drop do it when it's right for you i'm not here to pressure you i'm not here to to force you do it when it's right for you so shouting out the comment of the day and it is dj nn01 who commented on my sprinkles of spiritual sassiness enjoyed the being that you are video and he says thank you for the reminder heart emoji you're welcome be sure to check out my sprinkles of spiritual sassiness videos i have to create a playlist for that i will do that today but um i have a playlist of all of the short videos i share on instagram and twitter and linkedin and tiktok yes your girl is on tiktok um follow me on tiktok if you're on tiktok follow me let's follow each other and all that good stuff so thank you guys for tuning into today's video i love you i see you you got this